hello my lovelies welcome or welcome back to another simple project by simply angel tia and as you can see here this is pretty much it so you see a poncho yes if you do see a poncho that's what i have on the table here so this is what we're going to be creating for this tutorial and as you can see i wanted to do something very simple we're just using um a double crochet stitch to create this uh, and this is meant for the beginners. I mean, somebody who is more intermediate or advanced can also obviously do this. Sometimes doing simple projects is very relaxing as well. Uh, but yeah, it's mostly meant for the beginners who just want to do something nice, but use very simple stitch and very easy to, to do. And since it's a one row repeat, it's going to have, you're going to have no problem creating something like this very easily, even as a beginner. So this is what we're going to be uh, working on. And as you can see here, I tried to put together uh, colors that resemble fall as much as I can. And since I was using scrap yarn, of course, um, I did not, I couldn't get all the colors that I needed to represent fall, but I have some of them in this poncho. So this is what we're going to be going with. I also decided to put some fringes. So I had some leftover scrap yarn uh, of these colors that I used here. And I decided to just do some uh, fringes here at the ends, which looks nice. I didn't, I did not want to bother making it look too even or anything like that. So, but I think just having it a little bit uneven like this, not very organized not very straight i think it's also kind of has um it has like a style of its own so this is absolutely optional for you you don't have to do the uh, fringes and if you do you can do it however you want to do it you can do them long you can do them extremely even you can do them in one color you can do them in multiple colors so that is absolutely a choice that you have um yeah so with this um Pancho, as you can see i've already completed the full project here and i often do this because i freestyle uh 90 percent 99 percent of my work i freestyle uh which means i start the project i work it i see how it goes if i make a mistake somewhere i fix it and then when i have created everything fully and it looks satisfactory to me then i do a tutorial on it because i don't want to show you guys uh, a, a tutorial on how i'm making mistakes and then showing you guys it would be a very long video otherwise anyway so without talking too much i'm going to show you guys a sample of how to do this uh, in just this simple color here this is the same weight as this which is uh, medium weight number four um, and i'm going to use a scissors obviously i'm going to need some stitch markers and of course, I'm going to be using a, a crochet hook and I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook or H8 US. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Okay, my lovelies. So to get this uh, tutorial started, I'm going to show you the beginning and we're going to do a few rows just so you can see how it builds up. And like I say, it's a very, uh, very simple project. So everything after the first row is a repeat until the end. So we're not going to create something that is too big. I'm just going to show you how to do it in, in, multi, in, in a couple of rows. And then I'll have you guys build up your own work in that sense. And the colors, of course, you can change it however you want to change the colors. You can do it in one color. Or you can do it as in as many colors as you want. You could do it for uh, with winter colors, summer colors, fall colors, whatever kind of colors you want to do it in. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by doing a slip knot here. And this slip knot is going to allow me to create a foundation chain. And I did a hundred uh, chains to create my uh, poncho here. And I'm going to do the same here just so you guys can see the sizing. Um, but I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to do a chain of a hundred. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, my lovelies, so I have completed my chain of 100 here. And as you can see, that's pretty much how long it is. And this is how wide your neck uh, or the opening on top of the puncher is going to be. And of course, you can increase this based on uh, increase or decrease it based on how either tight you want the neck portion to be or how wide you want it to be. And what I'm talking about here, just so you understand, is this portion of the puncher. So as you can see, this is the opening of my poncho this is going to be one of either the front or the back but this is what i'm talking about here uh in this case here if you if you look at, at the pictures you will see how it looks and if you look at these pictures on me right now and you do realize that you don't want it to fall like that in terms of the opening size you can make it smaller or you can make it bigger so that is all an option that you have but i do 100 chains to give me this kind of gap that i have in this poncho here now the other thing that I did 
while I was doing my chain was I counted up to 50 and then I put a stitch marker and then I completed counting the other 50. The reason we do that is because we do uh, increase in, in both sides of the pancho, on two sides of the pancho. And it's going to be on this side where I put the stitch marker and on this side that I'm going to connect here. Okay. So you can either have done the same thing like that or just right now count 50, put your stitch marker and then count the 50 and that's it. Now that we have done that, I'm going to make sure my chain is very, very straight and it's, it goes down flat like this. If I was to put it down flat on the ground, it would fall down very, very flat. And the reason we do that is because when we start to work our stitches around, you don't want it to have a twist somewhere. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm doing exactly what I'm telling you guys here because we don't want to have to undo our work and then have to go back and redo it. So now that you have your chain very, very straight and flat like that, you're going to go and get, we're going to get started with the first row and you're going to grab this side, this end here, still holding your, um, your chain straight. And we're going to go into the very first chain here and we're going to do a slip stitch. So we're going to grab the back loop of the very first chain on the other side, which is the first one that we created. And we're going to go there and do a slip stitch. And right after you do a, sli a slip stitch, just double check again to make sure your chain is still flat and that you have not accidentally twisted it somewhere. And since it is, we're going to start the first row. And this first row is going to be very simple. It's going to be a row of double crochet around. Nothing else but just double crochet. And we're going to be going through the back loop, okay? So we're going to chain two. So one, two. And then, so this counts as a, uh, as a double crochet. In the next chain, in the back of it, we're going to go in the back and grab the back loop and do our second double crochet. And then we're going to move on to the next chain and we're gonna grab the back loop of that chain and we're going to do a double crochet there as well. And this is a repeat for this row of this bunch. So this is the first row and it's just a very straightforward row of double crochet stitches but we're going through the back of the chain to do it now i will show you what i'm talking about the reason i do the back of the chain is as you can see here this side is very flat and it's the same as this side here it makes it, it makes it very nice and flat work. okay so let's work this until we get to the end and by the end i mean right here when you get back to this section here of your work and when you get to here just do your double crochet in that stitch replace it back and then continue to do double crochet stitches but just make sure you have it in the 50th stitch when you have finished that come back and i will show you how to actually start the rows that are going to be repeat rows for the rest of the project okay so do so and i'll see you in a bit okay my lovelies so i have completed this first row here of the double crochets around the neck of the pancho and as you can see here it looks nice and flat like that okay so i still have my stitch marker on the 50th stitch on this side here and as you can see here i haven't joined these two ends here to make it one so which i will show you how to do that and how to start the next row okay so we have the chain two that we created on this side to uh which does count as a double crochet uh to start this row and so we're going to count one two and in the second stitch there we're going to do a slip stitch just like this okay so as you can see, this joins these two sides together and now we just have one big circle that is made out of uh, double crochet stitches. Now we're going to start our second row and this is going to be our repeat row and we're going to do a chain of two again. So one, two and keep in mind our chain two counts as a double crochet and in that same stitch there, we're going to add one more double crochet. Okay, so this makes it two so far like so and then we're going to chain one and then we're going to do two more double crochets in that same stitch okay keep in mind that is our 50 uh, our 100th stitch because our 50th is right here okay now that i have that we're going to now continue to work double crochet stitches in the next stitch going towards the left and then on each and every stitch from there, we're going to do just regular double crochet stitches. And we're going to do this until we get to the stitch marker. Okay. So I would like you guys to do this until you get to where you put your stitch marker. 
and when you complete the stitch just right before that come back to the video and i will show you how to create that corner on this side as well before we complete the other half of the uh of the row and then i will show you how to start the third row which is the repeat row of what we're just doing now and then i'll have you guys build it up until you pretty much have the size okay but for now just work your uh, double crochet stitches until you get to the stitch right before the stitch marker and then i will see you guys then okay my lovelies so as you can see here i have reached the stitch marker point so this is what we're going to be doing the four double crochet stitches in the same stitch so we're going to remove the stitch marker and in that next stitch there we're going to do two double crochets first so one and two and then we're going to do a chain one and then we're going to do two more double crochet stitches into that same stitch and now what we're doing here is we're matching that other side so we do have this here and now we have the same thing on this side so now the rest of the stitches are going to just be regular double crochet stitches and this is going to be the repeat now so really there's nothing else to do after this so i'm gonna have you guys complete this side as well when you reach the other side there come back i will show you how to complete this uh, side and start the next row and then i will have you guys build up the rest of your project but what i will do with the sample is i will build up a little bit a few more rows let's say just so you guys see how it progresses and then I'll come back and show you guys, let's say maybe another four or five rows that I can do. And then I'll come back and show you guys how it looks like as you progress, just to make sure that as you're progressing as well, yours is looking and having similar shape and not looking completely like it's something else, okay? But for now, just complete this row until you get to this final stitch here. When you've reached there, come back and I will show you guys how to transition uh, or how to join the two sides here and then to start the next row okay so you guys in a okay, bit my lovelies so i have completed the other half of this row here so as you can see i'm back to the beginning here and that's pretty much how our poncho looks so far so i'm going to show you how to join these sides here and how to start the next row so again we have the chain two from the previous row which counts as a double crochet so we're going to go on top of that chain two so in the very top stitch there, we're going to do a slip stitch to join these two, two sides together like that. And because we want to start working in the middle, we're going to go right into the middle part as well and do another slip stitch. So now we have our stitch right in the middle. Okay, so there's two double crochets on here, chain one, two double crochets on here, and that's the middle that we're in now. So now to start this row, we're going to chain two again, which counts as a double crochet stitch. And then we're going to add a double crochet stitch there to make it two so far and then we're going to chain one and then we're going to do two more double crochets in that same stitch and again this is just to keep the, uh, creating this corner of the poncho like that and now that we have that we're just going to move on to the next stitch on the other side and continue to do our double crochets as per usual okay and again you're going to do this again until you get to this other corner here okay so you're going to work your double crochet stitches all the way here and then when you get to this corner here you're going to do a double crochet here stitch here double crochet stitch here double crochet stitch here and then you're going to go right into the center do two double crochet stitches chain one two double crochet stitches so four total and then you move on to the other side and do your double crochet stitch double crochet stitch and then you continue to do that all the way back here when you get back here you slip stitch on top of one two on this top on the the uh, top chain here uh the chain two slip stitch on there and then slip stitch in the middle and then when you get to the middle you chain two you do exactly what we just did here so that is the repeat that you're going to keep doing with this project all around until you have the size of the puncher this you is want. literally up to you at this point on how uh, how long you want to make it but just again this is how our poncho is going to end up looking when we fold it in like this this is how it's going to end up looking and this is where your neck is going to go and this is going to go over your shoulders right here okay but for now what i will do is i will just build up my sample here 
make it a little bit longer just so you have a little bit more of a better idea of how it looks like as you progress and then uh, i will come and pretty much conclude the video after you've seen what that is because you will then continue to work the same stitches until you have the size you want okay but for now let me just do a few more rows and then i'll come back and show you what i have okay my lovelies so i just went ahead and completed five total rows rows here so you can see how uh the punch is coming together um uh, coming along together i guess and as you can see this is pretty much how it looks here but let's say we just place it on how you would usually wear a poncho then you start to see kind of how it's shaping up here so this is pretty much you know the neckline here and this is how it would go on your neck and then you just continue to build this guy down here all the way down here until you get the size that you're looking for so that is pretty much where I'm going to stop Stop with the video here because there's not much to show you besides just continuing to repeat this pattern until you get the size. So we're just going to put this guy away really quick and I'm going to bring back the one that I've completed here. The one that I have in my colors, uh, especially fall colors here. So as you can see, so I just wanted to quickly change the, the zoom settings there so you can see it more wider. So as you can see, this is pretty much what I got with my uh, completed one here. I changed the colors in this manner just because I wanted to do it like this. But you can obviously do it in one solid color. You can do it in as many different colors as you want. Or you could just, you know, choose whatever colors you would like your poncho to be in. And then get to work and get your creation going. But this is pretty much it here. As per the fringes that I talked about earlier... I just took whatever colors that were left in each of these yarn here beside the, the this dark purple one and I just kind of uh, knotted them. I think the gapping was like three stitches and in the four they do, three stitches in the four they do and then I just kind of alternated them like this. So this is again something that you can either put uh, fringes in yours as an option or you can leave it uh, just solid the way it is and it will look nice as well, okay? But I'm going to end this video here because it's a very simple one and it's a repeat uh, so there's not much that I can show you in this point. But if you do have any questions, please contact me uh, by commenting in the comment section below or if you follow me on Instagram and it's uh, angel underscore tia underscore crochet. If you follow me there, then you can also send me pictures or just kind of chat with me on there. So we can kind of go more in depth in depth of if, if you want to know something different from what I showed you here. Okay. All right. So for now, I'm going to let you guys go and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.